Hello, welcome back to Minecraft on an Atomic Level. My name is Atomic Deek, and I'm here to show you guys something fairly interesting that I recently discovered. Uh, it's been a long time since I've recorded an episode here, and this is going to be more of a mini episode. It's just going to showcase that thing I mentioned that I just discovered. First of all, I feel it's necessary to mention that we're not in the FTW Craft server. Or not the regular one at any rate. This is our game server. And right now we've got Feed the Beast Lite 2 loaded up. Uh, if you're not familiar with Feed the Beast, it's a uh, heavily modded version. Or Feed the Beast is a category that contains several heavily modded versions of Minecraft. Uh, for instance, we on my uh, on your left here, we've got some machines that you may not be familiar with if you're only familiar with the vanilla Minecraft, what what comes standard when you buy Minecraft to start playing. Uh, so Feed the Beast Lite is... It's, it's kind of the, the basic package that you can get into. And it's in, primarily intended for people who have older PCs or uh, just gaming rigs that aren't that aren't your PC master race uh, specs out the wazoo kind of machines. This is for people with just a uh, regular work type PC or regular whatever. But you could still load up some pretty interesting mods on it. Uh, one, one thing I'm about to show you guys is something that has completely changed the game for fishing for me. And obviously Normally you just craft a fishing rod and you cast your line out there and wait for uh, the fish to pop up. With this, however, it, com it extremely simplifies the entire process. And I'm going to show you how to make that extremely simplified fishing rod. Alright. First of all, obviously you're going to need a fishing rod. So... Here's another thing uh, for those that aren't familiar with uh, Feed the Beast. Crafting station is essentially a crafting table, but it's got a nice little extra perk of if you put something in there, let's just throw in these iron boots, if you put something in there and you exit it, the item doesn't just pop out. It The crafting station will hold on to whatever you stick in there. Alright, so for this new and improved fishing rod, you're going to need a fishing rod here in the center. And you're going to need two other materials. Uh, you're going to need a redstone torch, and you're going to need some debt cord. Now, um, you may be familiar with debt cord or something of the type in the real world. Essentially, it's like a piece of rope but loaded with explosives. Uh, this is essentially the same sort of thing. Now, how how you make debt cord is you need some uh, you need rubber, and you need a piece of TNT. So essentially you put the TNT in the center here and surround it with rubber. And rubber is something you can get in um, Mine Factory Reloaded. It comes with the uh, Feed the Beast Light 2 pack. And the way you get rubber is there are rubber trees that grow out in the wild. You can chop down the trees and you get rubber from them. So that's, that's how you make that cord. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the redstone torch, put it there. And you're going to fill almost all the spaces with deck cord in the remaining spaces there. You're going to leave that top right-hand corner empty. All right. There's the new and improved fishing rod. And we'll stick that there. And we're going to head over to that uh, bit of water there. So, all right. thought I had my jetpack on. But uh, apparently, I did not. That's another neat little thing you can get um, in Feed the Beast is you can get jetpacks. Very convenient, very handy. All right. We're going to get out the fishing rod, and we're going to right click with this sucker. Now, watch very carefully. All right, right click, it throws it in there, and you might have seen it, you might not have. What just happened was the fishing rod has exploded because it's uh, lined with deck cord and it has the uh, redstone torch as a as a detonator of sorts. 
what it does, it just blows fish up. And as you can see here, as I mentioned, it was vastly and extremely simplified. And sometimes it will come up with cooked fish. Uh, I haven't seen to find any yet. I, these are from a previous uh, fishing expedition, I guess you could say. But yeah, this thing throws fish all over the place. So, I don't know, maybe it's about the same... It, it could be about the same amount of time uh, for regular fishing expedition, but uh, instead of all that time spent waiting for fish to come to you, the majority of your time used in fishing is spent hunting down the fish that your fishing rod has blown up all over the place underwater. But yeah, that that's um, I I think that's completely worth it, just for the uh, satisfaction of getting several fish in one go. So yeah, that is feed the beast fishing in a nutshell, and I love it. Let's get back inside the house here. Um, yes, yeah, it's raining and or snowing. Mobs will be popping up. Let's get back up here. Alright. That's essentially all. I hope you enjoyed that. As you saw uh, my back there for a minute. But yeah, if you enjoyed that, if you enjoyed what you saw, just give this video a like. Uh, maybe subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. I'm going to try to record a little more often than I have been recently. Um, if you have any ideas about what I could record a video about next in Feed the Beast, uh, be it, well, it almost had to be Feed the Beast Lite because that's the, uh, only, that's the only mod pack we're running right now on the game server. But if you have any ideas about what else you'd like to see in this mod pack, have any suggestions, uh, if you have any criticisms about what I did, maybe I, I did something wrong. Uh, again, this is something I just recently found out about, so... I'm I'm sure there's uh, a feature of the new and improved fishing rod that I haven't found yet. So if you have any comments, criticisms, or suggestions, or any observation about anything else you've seen in this video, uh, like those machines over there, or anything of the sort, or if you just want to tell me how awesome my skin of Jervis Cottonbelly, the gentlemanly wrestler, is, leave that in the comment sy comment system below, and I hope to see more of you shortly and hopefully you guys will see more of me shortly so stay tuned